Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. Here to show you a couple of photographs that I took of uh, the power supply for my portable ham radio station. Uh, it's a battery, obviously. Uh, that it's a marine battery. And a marine battery is sort of like a heavy-duty automotive battery that won't spill. Uh, I do not recommend the use of automotive batteries for portable emergency power. I recommend the use of marine batteries. I got this one down in Rapid City. It has a capacity of 35 ampere hours and will deliver upwards of 20 amps uh, if called upon to do so for short periods of time. Once again this comes from my book Ham and Shortwave Radio for the Electronics Hobbyist published in 2015 by McGraw-Hill. This is figure 6-12. You'll find it on page 192. There's one important difference between the original battery and this one. And that is these connections right here. You see these? This thing came with just these original lugs like this and some very meager uh, connections for wires. I replaced the meager connections for wires with long bolts that went through with wing nuts and two one and a quarter inch diameter washers on each lug sufficient so that when you screw that wing uh, nut down you will get excellent contact with the power supply wires positive obviously being red negative being blue take a closer up look at the anatomy of the bolt and washers and wing nut that uh, make up the contact that ensures plenty of surface area so that high current can flow. 20 to 22 amps is a lot of current. This voltage will supply 12.6 volts. It's designed to power the transceiver, the Y2, Y2, yes, Yesu FT857 Delta, which is a wonderful little self-contained mobile and portable uh, transceiver capable of operating on all modes on all bands from 160 meters all the way up through I believe uh, three quarters of a meter or 440 uh, 450 megahertz there's the close up again figure 6-13 on page 193 I think it's important that the connections have adequate surface area contact to allow for plenty of current to flow without heating up and wasting uh, vital power in your operations. I run only 30 watts with the FT-857D. Any other transceiver, of course, designed for a mobile and portable operation will work just fine. Even um, a fixed station transceiver provided uh, that it doesn't demand too much current. You have to be very careful though about uh, discharging and charging this battery. You don't want to run out so you have to have a charger. I use an automotive battery charger on the trickle charge or low current charge mode and uh, that is not shown in either of these illustrations. You can purchase these sorts of things at uh, most common marine stores, uh, you know, where they sell boats and other such appurtenances for use out here in the deserts of the western United States. Uh, notably the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of Amateur Radio. So I recommend this kind of arrangement for your terminals for your 12.6 volts DC called upon to supply 
I wouldn't recommend trying to asking for more than 40 or 50 watts out of this battery uh, although it theoretically can provide quite a lot more power than that for short periods of time portable emergency power uh, the ideal arrangement too would involve solar panels for recharging but I haven't gotten quite that far yet Stangibalisco W1GV saying 73 which means best regards in ham radio jargon and as a reminder once again the title of the book ham and shortwave radio for the electronics hobbyist available from amazon.com barnesandnoble.com plenty of pirated websites and if you can find one a bricks and mortar bookstore near you probably on special order so long for now which translates into my CW native fist forever after as da 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 da